Welcome back to Moonbeam Kids. Are you ready to learn something new today? Let's get into the video. Hey there, my name is Lavender. Today we are going to be learning about the winter solstice. We'll talk about the science behind it, how it affects life on Earth and how people around the world celebrate this special time. The winter solstice is the shortest day and longest night of the year. In the Northern Hemisphere, it usually falls around December 21st or 22nd. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it happens in June. It's all about the Earth's position in its orbit around the Sun, which we'll get into in a moment. Our Earth isn't perfectly upright. It's tilted about 23.5 degrees on its axis. As it orbits the Sun, this tilt causes different parts of the Earth to receive varying amounts of sunlight. During the winter solstice, the North Pole is tilted farthest away from the Sun. This means shorter days and lower temperatures for the Northern Hemisphere. The winter solstice impacts life in many ways. Animals use this time for hibernation or migration, and plants often go dormant to conserve energy. Humans have also felt these changes, especially in ancient times when daylight was crucial for survival. The winter solstice marks the shortest day and the longest night of the year, a celestial turning point that has been observed and celebrated by human civilizations for thousands of years. But why was this moment so significant to our ancestors? To ancient humans, the winter solstice carried deep meaning, as they depended on the rhythms of nature for survival. For early agricultural societies, the solstice was a sign of hope. It meant that the darkest days were over and that the sun's life-giving power would soon return. Many early monuments, such as Stonehenge in England and Newgrange in Ireland, were aligned to capture the first light of the winter solstice sunrise, showing just how important this day was to ancient people. Imagine being an ancient farmer or hunter-gatherer. The winter months were harsh and resources scarce. The solstice represented a promise that the days would grow longer and the warmth of spring would come again. Communities often gathered to mark this occasion with rituals and feasts, expressing gratitude for surviving the darkest part of the year. In Egypt, the winter solstice was connected to the rebirth of the sun god Ra. Temples were designed so the solstice sun would illuminate statues and sacred spaces, reinforcing the idea of renewal and divine order. The ancient Maya also tracked the winter solstice with incredible precision. Their pyramids, such as those at Chichen Itza, were aligned to the sun's movements, serving as both spiritual centers and astronomical tools. In Northern Europe, the Norse celebrated Yule, a festival of light and warmth during the dark winter. They lit fires, decorated trees, and held feasts to honor the return of the sun. Many of these traditions influenced modern winter celebrations. The solstice also brought communities together. Markets and gatherings were common, where people exchanged goods and shared news. These gatherings helped strengthen bonds during a time when people faced many hardships in their daily lives. The Yule season has inspired celebrations across the globe for centuries. Rooted in ancient traditions, Yule marks a time of light, warmth, and community during the darkest days of the year. Today we'll explore Yule festivals around the world and the unique ways people honor this special time. In Germany, the roots of Yule can be seen in modern Christmas markets, known as Weihnachtsmarkt. These markets feature festive foods, handcrafted gifts, and sparkling decorations. While today's traditions focus on Christmas, many of these practices trace back to ancient midwinter festivals. The Celts of the British Isles also marked the Yule season. They celebrated Alban Art Hahn or Light of Winter, a time to honor the rebirth of the sun. Sacred sites like Newgrange in Ireland were aligned to capture the solstice sunrise, symbolizing hope and renewal. The Roman festival of Saturnalia, celebrated in mid-December, shared many Yule-like traditions. Saturnalia honored Saturn, the god of agriculture, with days of feasting, gift-giving, and revelry. This joyous atmosphere influenced later winter celebrations across Europe. In Japan, Toji, the winter solstice, is a time for reflection and renewal. People take hot yuzu baths, eat pumpkin dishes, and welcome the return of longer days. While not called Yule, the themes of light and hope resonate across cultures. Indigenous peoples of North America observe midwinter with ceremonies and storytelling. 
For example, the Zuni people celebrate Shilako, a series of sacred dances and rituals to bring harmony and blessings for the new year. These traditions reflect deep respect for the cycles of nature. Yule is more than a single festival. It's a reminder of the shared human spirit. Across cultures, the Yule season symbolizes light overcoming darkness, the strength of community and the promise of new beginnings. Why not create your own solstice tradition? Light candles, reflect on your goals, or even make a winter craft like the one in our free holidays around the world curriculum. Check the link below or head to our website today. Thank you so much for watching. The winter solstice is a reminder of the beauty of our planet and its cycles. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next week for more fun learning adventures. Happy winter solstice!